Imagine you want to determine the differences in brain connectivity between healthy individuals and those with a psychiatric condition. How to do this? We can represent the regions of the brain by nodes and their functional relations by edges, resulting in a graph. How should we know if two nodes should be linked? More generally, given some variables of interest, how to model the interactions between the variables. Gauss and Markov random fields offer a way to model the relationships by assuming the variables to be jointly Gaussian. Then the variable's probability density function will be a multivariate Gaussian, and the relationships between the variables is given by the covariance matrix. In particular, if in the inverse of the covariance matrix, known as the precision matrix, an entry is zero, then the corresponding variables are conditionally independent given the rest of the variables. This means that there is no edge connecting them in the random field structure. This automatically provides the structure of a Markov random field. Whenever we observe a non-zero value in the precision matrix, we draw an edge between their corresponding nodes. Of course, in practice, we almost never observe actual zeros when inverting the empirical covariance matrix. Algorithms like graphical lasso enforce zeros in the information matrix, leading to sparse graphical models. By using graphical lasso independently across data from different groups, for example, adults with infants, we can compare the differences between the connections,